So today I am fishing McClure fishery and it is a massive fishery. Uh, very, very wide uh, across the banks. Um, pretty incredible. <laughs> Hashtag incredible. Uh, just such a big thing. Lovely old bridge built in 1905 or opened in 1905. Amazing architecture. Bit of damage there on that side. Guess it must be okay. One thing I've realized, well, I, I've known this for quite a bit of time, actually. It's just the same when you're doing um, bank fishing, boat fishing, uh, and regardless of what species you're going for, the salmon, sea trout, brown trout, you know, you can have all the gear, no idea, but yeah, you can have all the gear. You can have the right fly or the right uh, lure uh, you can have everything that you could possibly need and there is a lot of skill and I'm learning lots of things at the moment steep learning curve but ultimately it comes down to being in the right place at the right time and fishing that's what it's all about it's I'd say Mm, maybe 20 or 30 percent skill and 70 percent luck obviously the more experienced you are you can narrow those odds but I do think there's still a great degree of chance that comes into this that's lunch it's coming up for one o'clock and uh, I see the cross back over that bridge and go back to the what looks to be a very nice fishing hut it's warm even though it's sunny uh, I thought I was into a fish earlier on uh, but uh, there was something really heavy on the line but of course it was just a load of weed <laughs> Still, another enjoyable morning. I'm hoping 
this afternoon that maybe I can get back on the fly rod. Um, I think that would be a good, good thing to get back on the fly rod. The spinning rod's great, it really is, and it's really easy fishing, but I like to be able to experience both fly and spin. I mean, on this heaving water, I suppose spinning is the answer or is the, the thing to do. That's certainly what the ghillies said, and they should know. So that's part one of uh, McClure fishery. Right, so, just had lunch. I'm on McClure uh, Estate, or fishery, and I've just had a lift up the river uh, by the ghillie and the people in the boats. Met a lovely couple, a pair of couples actually, uh, two couples, is that how it works? Yes. <laughs> I met a lovely uh, two, two couples in the hut, uh, exchanging stories of triumph, and a few woes. Yeah, very nice. One, of the, uh, one gentleman called Chris gave me a heads up on the river Oik, uh, which feeds into the Ness. Uh, so, look Ness. So, that might be something for me to look at. And I see how far I go and how far I get up. That might be worthwhile having a day uh, down there uh, as I get up into the highlands. Yeah, so just on the top beat now, work my way back down almost to the private house which I'm guessing is the is the McClure estate and uh, yeah so I'll just fish this now and through through for the next three or four hours and then they'll pick me back up at about quarter to five and take me back to the uh, take me back to the car been a great day so far really you know it's been a, another different beat big water you know not a lot of wading great I'm happy about that today as my staff is broken and uh, something I have to fix over the weekend I might even do a video on it so yeah gonna fish here now for the next three or four hours hopefully we'll get something uh, one of the ghillies looked at my uh, my net that I've got on which is a salmon and sea trout guy net and he just said oh You'll need a bigger net. <laughs> yeah, just like uh, I'll need a bigger boat. <laughs> right, okay, let's go. Right, not a sausage. I am absolutely knackered. I can't do another cast. I'm gonna have three days off now. Saturday, got to go do some chores. I need some stuff from B&Q and Curry's. Sunday, 
I'm going to go and be a tourist, I think. Go and have a little walk around Edinburgh. Uh, see what, see the sights. I haven't been to Edinburgh in years. So that's what I'm going to do Sunday. Monday be a work day. I've uh, got a lot of um, uh, work to do on our new website. And then after that, Tuesday, I think, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I might go fishing. I might not. It all really depends on how I feel because Wednesday morning I'm leaving Perth and Sco uh, Schoon uh, to travel two hours up to Grand Town on Spey uh, to fish on the Spey. So I'll be up there for 14 more nights. So we shall, we shall see what will happen. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's uh, been very nice. Day on McClure and their extensive beat. A lot of water on this stretch, a lot of deep fast water are uh, quite surprising so either I'll be talking to you again when I'm fishing on another beat on the Tay or it'll be the Spay <laughs> <laughs>